Make Believe Ideas presents Story Time with Hannah. Frank the Fart Fairy with a gas-tastic whoopee cushion. A fairy story that out trumps the rest. Free whoopee cushion. Fairies were one of three magical creatures that never farted. Mermaids were another who never broke wind. They didn't have bottoms, so they couldn't. And yetis were too embarrassed to bottom burp, or even normal burp. Gnomes, on the other hand, couldn't stop farting, and were only second on the fartometer of fartiness to one other creature. Humans, and with most things that humans lost, hid and left behind, the fairies were on the case. Well, one fairy was. His name was Frank the Fart Fairy. The human farts five times a day. Five hundred thousand farts a lifetime. Fart fact: the word human, which comes from an old fairy language, means stink butt. It was Frank's job to stop all the gassy bottom pops, all those silent stinkers that wafted across the room. The many bubbling squeaks that turned baths into jacuzzis. He was even there on those rare occasions when your mum let one rip. However, the farts Frank trapped didn't always stay trapped for long. That's because, as well as finding farts hilarious, Frank also used them to prank. He loved to bubble prank the mermaids at the Sunset Lagoon. Stink bomb the flower fairies in Rainbow Meadow, and let off fart explosions on Mount Yeti. However, one day Frank went one fart prank too far. The agenda for today's meeting is this year's fairy con fart, and it backfired. The fairies, the mermaids, the Yetis, and even the gnomes had had enough of Frank's farty antics. Farts are not funny," lectured the fairy godmother. "Neither are pranks, wise cracks, or jokes about farts. But, but, buts are also not funny. You are banned from Fairyland and Sunset Lagoon and Mount Yeti. You can still come to Gnome Pond if you want." Frank couldn't believe it. He was going to miss his favourite number one event in the fairy calendar, FairyCon, where fairies could show off their talents and maybe get an autograph or two. It's not fairy fair, moaned Frank. My farts are funny, my pranks are hilarious, and my jokes about farts are hysterical. I'll show them. Prank fart chart. Mermaid's farty bubble eruption. Done. Flower fairies pong attack done. Yeti's fart launch done. Even though Frank was in a lot of trouble, he decided the best thing to do was plan the ultimate fart prank. And where better to play that prank than at FairyCon? Frank set to work vacuuming up the most fierce farts, the most bubbly bottom burps, and the stinkiest stink bombs. He then trapped each fart in a mini cushion. I think I will call my new invention a farty pillow. Soon the big day arrived. Frank disguised himself as a superhero fairy and crept into the bustling fairy con. He went from chair to chair, sofa to sofa, fairy toilet to fairy toilet. Yes, there are such things. And hid hundreds of fart-filled farty pillows. What happened next became known in fairy folklore as the epic farty works display. It started with a gnome, then a couple of fairies, then the tooth fairy. Suddenly, the whole of Fairy Con was filled with the sounds and smells of hundreds of farty pillows being sat on. But that wasn't what made the fairy godmother turn purple with anger. It was what happened next. For the first time in fairy history, 
A fairy farted for real! The sounds of the farty pillows had caused a gassy chain reaction. The fairies couldn't help it. One after another, they broke wind, let rip, and squeaked one out. But unlike gross human farts, fairy farts sounded like melodic harps, smelt of real raspberries and were made of magic. And all the magical fairy farts exploded in a cascade of glorious glitter that fell all over Frank. As the fairy farts settled, everyone peeked out from where they were hiding. And there, in the spot where Frank was last seen, was a large ginger-haired farty pillow that looked a lot like a prank-loving fart fairy. Everyone started to laugh, even the fairy godmother. Frank didn't understand. Why is everyone laughing at me? Frank turned and saw himself on the large fairy con tv screen i've popped turned into a giant farty pillow that's enough fun for one fairy con said the fairy godmother and with a swish of her wand frank was back to normal i'm sorry said frank frank all farts aren't always funny said the fairy godmother some jokes are sometimes funny and a prank is only funny if it's not played on you. Frank had learned a very important lesson and from that day on he vowed never to prank a fairy, a mermaid, a yeti or a gnome ever again. Instead he set up his own farty pillow factory so everyone else could prank each other. Frank later changed the name to Whoopee Cushions. For some reason the name farty pillows didn't catch on. The end. If you like this story, you can visit our shop www.makebelieveideas.co.uk for more great books.